coming. Hello? Hey, Johnny Boy! Mayday, Mayday! This is DC Flight 132. That is exactly how it happened, buddy. <laughs> Oh, my friend, you love to stuff your face with good tasting stuff like T-bones, roast beef, and chicken wings. But you think cooking takes way too long. Well, Uncle Ted has an amazing new product just for you, the Atomic Cooker! <laughs> Developed in Ukraine by Chernobyl's top food scientists, the Atomic Cooker will cook anything you want before you can say, Zapatel! <laughs> <laughs> Meet Kiki, an excellent source of chicken wings. <laughs> Step one, open the Atomic Cooker. <laughs> Step two, put Kiki inside the Atomic Cooker and quickly close the door. <laughs> Step three, place your finger on the big button, gently press it, and say... Wow! <laughs> Does that look delicious or what? Yeah. Oh my God! Wow! Unbelievable! What's totally awesome about the atomic cooker is I can see what I'm eating, even in the dark. See? My steak! It's glowing! It's totally glowing! <laughs> My steak! All right. Now, this might sound kind of strange, but uh, since I started using the atomic cooker, I can actually um, uh, see better. <laughs> oh, why the hell did you buy this piece of junk, Martha? The instructions are in Russian, okay? Russian! I'll take it easy, Walter. Uncle Ted already showed us how to do everything on the television. Let's try it out. Step one, I open this little door. Step two, I put an excellent source of chicken wings inside. Okay. Step three, I gently press on the big button. Here we go. One, two, three. Zapatow! just happened? Shh. Hold on a minute. <gasps> Will you look at that? Ooh, wow. Disgusting. Well, wait a minute. I don't know. Maybe this is how the Ukrainians like their chicken. Powdered? <gasps> hey, that's it. Powdered chicken. Oh, the Ukrainians are so cutting edge. Everyone knows that. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that that was the case. All right, tell you what. I'm going to give it a little taste. going to give it a little try. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, boy. I think it just did a leg. It, it's not bad. It, it's missing a bit of salt, but it's, it's not bad. <clears throat> try some. Go ahead, try some. What? You want me to do a rail of chicken? No. Walter, just try it, will you? I, I'm going to pass. Walter, do a bump. All right. And? <gasps> not bad, right? Uh. Ah! <laughs> thing of beauty. See how amazing it is? I'm telling you, my friend, you cannot live without the atomic cooker. Oh, that's enough. I can't take this guy anymore. Hello, my friend. Body toner. Wow. Spread the joy, my friend. You like to eat potato. What? Unbelievable success. Oh, come on. He's on every single channel. Day. Never been clean. Uh, Are you ready to be Hello, my friend. Are you sick and tired of being alone all the time? Wish there was a special someone in your life, but no one's applying for the job. Well, don't despair, you little loser, because Uncle Ted just created something especially for you. The best buddy! What's shaking, pussy cat? <laughs> The best buddy was created to give you all the love and affection you never had. And let's be honest, you're never going to get. Just look at them. Don't they make a cute couple? If you 
call right now, you can get your very own best buddy for only 12 small payments of $99.99. Uncle Ted Corporation, it's unbelievable. How can I help you today, my friend? Uh, hello. I I'm calling about the best buddy. Uh, is it possible to ship it out rush, rush, today, please? I'm telling you, my friend, you won't believe what you're about to see. Pay close attention to the demonstration I'm about to show you. Okay, you see this little cocktail wiener? Uncle Ted puts this little cocktail wiener on the cutting board. Then Uncle Ted takes his enlarger plus and places it on top of the little cocktail wiener. And what am I going to do next? You're, you're going to pump, pump it up! <laughs> That's right, my friend. I'm going to pump it up! Pump, pump, 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 pump it up! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> now marvel at the magic. <gasps> Isn't that amazing? It's totally insane! Now, don't forget this thing works with baby carrots, baby dill pickles, baby corn, and anything else that's teeny tiny. <laughs> you get that, my little playboy? Bro, I'll call you back in a couple minutes. I gotta make another call right now, guy. Listen, boss, you're not gonna believe all the cash you'll make with this baby. <laughs> tons and tons of cash! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, listen, this piece of crap sends electric shocks to your belly, and the idea, get this, is to make people believe that it will melt the fat away! <laughs> people are so stupid that they're actually gonna believe it, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Watch this. I'll give you a little demo of how it works. Just turn this little thing. <laughs> A lawsuit. Um, well, there's actually more like 46,809, and they're filing a class action against you. What? Call Pamela Brockovich right now. Are, are you using that water? floor is yours, Mr. Patterson. Uh, uh, <clears throat> thank you, um, your honor, members of the public. Today we are here to prove that every one of Uncle Ted's piece of crap products are in fact worthless uh, pieces of crap. <laughs> Furthermore, Uncle Ted has profited shamelessly from the public's Absolute stupidity in order to sell them this worthless garbage. <laughs> Justice must be for all, Your Honor. For all, even for the suckers, the losers. And yes, Your Honor, even for the morons among us. <coughs> uh, that is, that is all, Your Honor. It is now the defense's turn. Mr. Ted, do you have a lawyer to represent you? Hey, my friend, so you want to sue Uncle Ted? Well, I have a wonderful surprise just for you. Pamela Brockovich! Your Honor, my esteemed colleague, and handsome members of the public. 
I want to make a promise to you, and that promise is to reveal the naked truth about this case. And I'm going to show you all of it. Every last detail. No further questions, Your Honor. Um, wow! Unbelievable! Okay, uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, would you please tell the court where you were on the 8th of October in this year? I, uh, well, I, I was with my wife and uh, the atomic cooker. Aha! And is it true, Mr. Johnson, that after your night with the atomic cooker, you were turned into a total idiot? A man with the IQ of a sandwich? Well, I, I don't think I'd go that far. I just lost a little hair. Not just your hair, Walter. Tell the truth. Come on, this is important. Well, according to your wife, after your exposure to the atomic cooker, a blue and white growth appeared on the left side of your arse. Uh, that? That's, uh, nothing. That's just a freckle. <laughs> Walter, that thing in your butt is not a freckle. It looks like a little smurf with two little smurfy hands. Martha, cut it out, will you? Oh. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Johnson, would you show the court that you indeed do have a little smurf on your ass? Yeah, take your pants off and show your little smurf to the nice judge. Th that's enough! I don't have a little smurf on my ass, okay? My ass is just fine, thank you. It's round and smooth like a baby's bum. My ass is amazing, everybody. You got that? <laughs> and you, Mrs. Johnson, you have an intimate relationship with the atomic cooker, don't you? Yes. But my husband knows all about it. Yeah, I know about it. Well, uh, please tell the court how it ruined your life, though. Well, when we're watching a horror movie and I cover my eyes because it gets into scary bits, well, that doesn't work anymore. I can still see everything. Look. Peekaboo! I see you. Peekaboo! Isn't that weird? It's weird, right? It's weird. Yeah, and, and have you experienced any other unpleasant side effects, Mrs. Johnson? Um, uh, no. Oh, come on, Martha. Don't lie to the man. When it's nighttime, you light up like a drunk on Welfare Wednesday. Yeah, but that's not an unpleasant side effect. Now, when I get up to pee in the middle of the night, I don't have to turn the light on. Watch. I I'm just going to squeeze my muscles, and then I'll start glowing. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, <laughs> guess I squeezed a little too hard. Sorry, Judge. <laughs> and after your best buddy was delivered, what happened then? Um, I took him out of the box, and then he got a beer and started watching soccer. Do you feel like cuddling? No. I don't think that's what you're supposed to say. Go away. Can I give you a little kiss? I shouldn't have forced him. I think it was all my fault. Oh, and, and are you still living with him? No, he kicked me out. He's living in your apartment? Alone? No, he's not alone. That son of a bitch is with my toaster. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. I love my best buddy! And was there anything written on the box or in the Enlarger Plus instructions informing you that using the product on yourself could, uh, how can I say this, uh, suck up your nuts? And by doing so, make your voice sound like a chipmunk? No, if I'd known this could happen, I might have taken it more easy. Yeah, that's right! It wasn't even written on the box! Yeah! We're gonna suck up your nuts for a change! Come on, everybody! Let's suck his nuts! Suck! Order! Order in the court! Ms. Brogovich, would you like to cross-examine the witness? Yes, please, Your Honor. Raul. You don't mind if I call you Raul, do you? Are you kidding me? You can call me anything you like. You can call me whenever you like. So a man with your incredible sex appeal must find it pretty easy to seduce women, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course. I guess you're kind of like a Don Juan then, huh? Uh, look, it's safe to say I know my way around the ladies, yeah. Right. So when you saw the Enlarger Plus turn a little bitty cocktail wiener into a humongous, delicious jumbo hot dog, you immediately said to yourself, oh, finally, here's something I can use to serve jumbo hot dogs to my guests. 
Uh, well, uh, to be honest, uh, <laughs> that's not exactly what came into my mind. Oh, no? But did you ever see Uncle Ted use the Enlarger Plus on, say, himself? I, uh, 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 no. So then would you please explain to the court how you ended up having such a disgusting idea? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I thought that, <laughs> you know, when I, when I saw the wiener on the TV, bro, <laughs> thinking... <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough for today. <clears throat> Court's adjourned until tomorrow. <laughs>feel like something aphrodisiac. Any suggestions? Uh, yes, quite. The Spanish fly trout with oysters a la vodka. Oh. You'll literally be under the table by dessert. Uh -huh. We'll both have that then. <laughs> Excellent choice, madam. Hmm. Now, Miss Brockovich, <laughs> I can see what you're up to here and I have to warn you that your plan is working real good. I just wanted to warn you. I don't know why. <laughs> oh. You know, my dear, sweet Patterson, I really, really, really have a lot of respect for lawyers who stick up for the average public moron, but there's only so much crap I can take. Don't you think we could maybe think outside the... Brox? Oh boy. What do you say we negotiate an out-of-court settlement in my jacuzzi? I... I would say that you are being immoral and unprofessional, and let's get out of here. Oh. Let's go negotiate, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jacuzzi, let's do it. Yes, can we do it quickly? Hey. I don't last long. Patterson. <laughs> Just so we're clear on this, Mr. Ted. I'm not accepting this $75,000 in my own name. No, 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 no. I'm accepting it on behalf of the third world. That's it. And, uh, oh, on behalf of my wife. Yes, Janine is going to be very happy. Of course, whatever you want, whatever makes you comfortable. And another thing. Don't try to sway me by taking me out for some fancy meal. Nope. No, I'm warning you right now, Mr. Ted. I'm paying for coffee. <laughs> My friend, you're being way too generous with Uncle Ted. <laughs> now, uh, Mr. Ted, are you the sole proprietor of Uncle Ted Corporation Limited Incorporated? Makers of the Atomic Cooker, the Enlarger, the Willy Waller, the Body Toner, and a, uh, a bunch of other products ending in er? Yeah. That's right. But before you created this mega corporation, this evil empire dedicated to overconsumption, is it true you had a, a very difficult childhood? That you lost your parents at a young age and were raised by a family of squirrels? Yes, it's true. When I was little, my mommy and daddy went camping in the forest and BOW! They were attacked by a big puma! Thank God I cried so hard that Snoop and Pookie hurt me. They were a wonderful squirrel couple, and they took me in and raised me like their own baby. They taught me everything I know, but with Daddy Pookie, we never had enough peanuts. We always had to have more peanuts. <laughs> Now, you listen to me, son. I want to tell you something. The whole point of life is to gather as many peanuts as you can. You ain't never going to have enough. Never. You understand what I'm trying to tell you right now, boy? You will always need more peanuts. Always. More peanuts. <laughs> and this is why... To this day, you feel this incessant need to have more and more. <laughs> That's right. I always need more peanuts. Always more peanuts! <laughs> <laughs> Order! Order in the court! Order! <laughs> well, you won't sob me up with your sob story, Mr. Ted. 
You've taken advantage of countless people with your products, and you deserve a fitting punishment. I hereby sentence you to four hours community service. And uh, taking into account that you've been here for 20 hours, that's $500 an hour for a sum total of $10,000 we owe you. Zapatow! Okay, fine. It's not brand new, but it's barely been used. Uh, but does it really work, or...? Does it really work? Uh, it's gonna blow your mind, bro. Uh, how much you, uh, selling it for? <laughs> how much you selling it for? I love this guy. All right, I'll tell you what, bro. Just because I like you, 50. And I'll even throw in the bucks for free. I'll give you 10 bucks for it. Done. That's a done deal. Dri I'm driving over right now. Uh, I'm sorry, baby. I won't do it again. I promise. Okay, I guess I forgive you then. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, dinner's ready. Please save me. Hello, my friend. Are you sick and tired of being screwed by thieves, con men, and everyone else who will steal your money without blinking an eye? Well, don't despair, my little buddy, because Uncle Ted has developed a special system just for you. It's called Sue the Son of a Bitch. With the Sue the Son of a Bitch system, you'll know exactly what to do in order to win huge piles of cash suing people who rip you off. Wow, isn't that amazing? <laughs> 